All right, so where we left off, we just had ended probably a beautiful night with um, Cosmos. Unfortunately, we weren't able to literally um, hang out with AU for a walk, but eh, I don't know what we were supposed to do. Um, everybody was pretty much enjoying the fireworks, so it is what it is. Um, but yeah, um, let's just continue, shall we? <clears throat> I arise early the following morning to the sound of squealing seabirds and the shore. I luxuriate into my bed for a few moments, content to enjoy the warmth that elopes me, envelopes me, excuse me. Blazing around like this feels nice. But while I'm not as gung-ho as Hazel, I didn't come all the way here to lie in bed. I couldn't do that anyway. I sit up, stretching, and raise my arms above my head, then invigorated, I raise from my sheets and then ready myself for the coming day. I get dressed, splash my face in the bathroom, and then head downstairs. I am greeted when I entered the open plan living area to a familiar scent of Fufumi's miso soup. She was standing by the stove, stirring the pot of the stuff a golden yellow brown mixed with bits of cut tofu and diced spring onions. If it tastes so good as it looks as it smells, it should be delicious. Good morning, Hideki. You're up early. You're the first one awake. Other than Hazel. Did she head out for a jog already? Mm-hmm. I passed her as I was coming downstairs. She should be back at any minute. Bye guys! Bye guys! Now, the front door opens with a thud and Hazel flies in, her ponytail bobbing behind her. Her body slick with sweat, her shirt clinging onto her chest, and her face is flushed. She doesn't offer any further greeting than the most prefuncturatory one. She kicks off one of her shoes, Hafumi's cuts and then slides about the kitchen island, and then sidesteps the couch like it's a summoning course. Um, it's roughly five seconds she made her way to the foot to the stairs, and then in a third of the, she scales them as she vanished from you. I watch her blinking as does Hifumi. Hazel moves so quickly, she's less of a woman and more a blur of limps. She might as well have been a hurricane. Somebody sure was in a hurry. She's always like that. I'm afraid one of these days she'll slip and knock her head. I wouldn't want her to hurt herself. Hazel can be rather rash at times. Fumi smiles fondly, still stirring the soup in the pot. From what I hear, Marina has done a wonderful job disciplining her already. <clears throat> She's truly a model big sister. I don't know about that. I cast my mind back to a couple months prior when I first escaped the succubus realm. A you and Hifumi arranged a party to celebrate our newfound freedom, but Marina and Hazel went AWOL <clears throat> for the majority of it. I thought this was quite mysterious until I began hearing peculiar noises em emanating through the walls of my bedroom. When Hazel finally emerged, she was trembling, her eyes tearful. She was largely unresponsive for the rest of the night and sat in the corner with her arms around her legs. She looked like she'd seen things. I thought it impolite <clears throat> to inquire as to precise details of things, but my imagination's good enough that I can make an estimated guess. I've seen enough adult videos, you don't say. And judging by Marina's creativity, she has too. I think this should be almost done. Hifumi's gentle voice interrupts my musing. She smiles, her glasses steamed up from the miso soup and says, Would you like to try some? I'd very much appreciate your feedback. I'm no sh top chef, so I'd doubt I'll be much abused, but sure! <clears throat> I'll try, but 
Thanks, Sifu. It's no trouble. Drink up. There's plenty more where it came from. Avumi holds a spoon to my pursed lips, laden with miso soup. There's a chunk of tofu sitting atop the spoon, alongside a few curlicues of green onions. From close quarters, the smell is even more tantalizing than it was before. I'm already starting to salivate. I dip my head and then take the spoon into my mouth. Mmm! <clears throat> it's delicious, but I expect nothing less. Fumi's miso soup is mild, but it's not bland. It's seasoned to perfection, just the way I like it, and the green onions give it a nice, subtle crunch. What do you think? Do you like it, darling? A Malky toast compliment like that would be doing your cooking a disservice. I just don't like it. I love it. I'm very glad to hear it. Fumi smiles brightly. I find cooking relaxing and have enjoyed it for many years, and I like to think I am somewhat competent at it after much trial and error. But I do not wish to grow complacent. One can always improve. The moment one forgets this, their skills begin to decline. It is the same with Karuta. And even with acting. I have been studying your eating habits closely and I have been striving to make food suited to your taste buds. I am gratified my hard work has paid off. It has. I don't think you've ever served me anything that tastes bad. Uh, this is even better than my mother's cooking. My my, that is a lofty compliment. <laughs> I am flattered. Though perhaps you should not tell your mother this, I would not wish to compete with her. Not if she has to be my mother-in-law one day. That's pretty bold of you. I nudge Hifumi in the side playfully. Aren't you that dead set on being my wife? I have never been more determined about anything. I may be an actress, but my feelings about you is wholly sincere. I will not be content until I am walking down an aisle to greet you, dressed in white. For such a mild-mannered woman, Hifumi looks awfully fired up. I swear I can see the fire blazing in her violet eyes. Do you think your parents would approve of me, Haiti? Stop! Before you continue on with the video, I want to ask you guys a couple questions. Are you struggling with sleeping? Are you struggling with dehydration? Are you struggling with having energy in the morning, day, and night when it comes to gaming? I got a solution for y'all. Head on over to Poggers. This is going to be one of the few drinks that they actually released, and it's actually really, 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 really cool. Um, they even released their new flavor last month, which is Rocket Pop. Make sure to go ahead and check them out. Link in the description down below. Use creator code ZM for 10% off your order. Enjoy the video, everybody. They may balk at the idea, my being several older than you. I would not wish to cause a wreck between you and your family. It's fine. I'm not super close with my family, though I do visit from time to time. They've been nagging at me to settle down with a nice girl in the last few years, my mom in particular. They've been over the moon if they kn knew you showed such an interest in me. You're nice as they come, and since you're older, um, you'll be able to keep me on the straight and narrow. <clears throat> my mom thinks I need somebody to whip me in shape, somebody like her. I smile wearily while scratching my cheek with one hand. I told my mom a couple months back I was in a relationship, mostly to get her off my back, but I was vaguely with the specifics. She seems disbelieving enough that I found one girlfriend, let alone six. If she knew, on top of all that, the famed idol, Yamamoto Hifumi, was included in my harem, she would never shut up about it. Even my dad would be excited to hear that. He's been a fan of Hifumi for a while, and he owes every single fuck Oh, pay attention, it's right in front of you! Damn it! Even my dad would be excited to hear that he has been a fan of Hafumi for a while, and he owns every single one of her movies. 
I'm afraid his gushing might perturb Hifumi, and it certainly annoyed my mother. She's kind of possessive. Man, thinking about this is giving me a headache. Why, D. Hideki, have you... Why, D. Hideki, have I done something to upset you? Nah, it's not your fault. My mom's been clamoring to me too, is all, but I haven't been upfront about how famous you really are. I wanted to keep all the succubus stuff under wraps. It's kind of unbelievable, but she'll have to know the truth eventually. I don't want to hide you from my parents, nor if you're serious about this. Not if you're serious about this. I'd like them to meet you. But then I feel obliged to introduce them to the others, and that would be hard to explain. I understand entirely. This is why I'm not pushing you upon ma the matter. I trust you will do what you think is right, if for me, to further our relationship. Though, if you need any help explaining matters to your parents, you can rely on me. I am youth advisor, and I like to think I have some diplomatic skills. At the very least, I'm less abrasive than some of my sisters. Fumi laughs, as do I. Abrasive is a pretty good way to sum up the likes of you and Marina, and pretty much you too. They have a very strong personality between each one of them, so I can't really think that that wouldn't be the case at all. Well, we need not worry about it for the present. We came here to enjoy ourselves, not fret about the future. I apologize if I cast a pall upon things, my dear Hideki. It's not a problem. I have to think about the logistics of this sooner or later. One guy can't date six beautiful women and expect the whole world to be okay with it. My parents might need some talk around. But you're so mature and motherly. I know they'll take to you at once. With a you, it might be a different matter. What about me? A you marches into the room, hands on her hips. Her hair is tied back with her two signature twin tails, and though it is early in the morning, upon her face she's already wearing her signature scout. I guess a you wouldn't be a you if she wasn't a bit pissy. But I do wish she would chill every once in a while. Are you whispering behind my back? It's not very ladylike of you, Hifumin. Hideki and I were only speaking of his parents and how they might react upon meeting us. It is quite a heavy topic of conversation. Dwelling upon it, it will only spoil the food I made. So please erase it from your mind. Did somebody mention food? Hazel's next to enter the room, a wide smile on her face. She's wearing, not her jogger gi, but her casual attire and her hair and skin look damp. I guess she must have took a shower after a run. That was awfully fast. I'm starving. Hifumi and her food smells great. I need to get some carbs into my belly after all that exercise. Is it almost done? I'm just about finished with the miso soup, and it looks like the rice is almost ready. I prepared some pickles last night, which we can eat for with our food, and there are fried mackerels too. All right, mackerels. That sounds quite a feast. But of course, the breakfast is more important meal of the day. I would be a poor vain excuse of an older sister if I could not satisfy all your appetites. I do not want anybody going hungry. Ugh, you're such a good goodie. And you pulls face. Please excuse me while I violent. Oh my, are you alright? If you feel ill, I can get you a glass of water. Thanks for your concern, but I think I'll be fine. It was a turn of phrase. You sure? You look kind of pale. If you're gonna vom, you can do it in the bathroom. I don't want you puking on my food. Please. It's not like I'm going to throw up on you, literally. Idols don't do that. They don't? No! It'd be totally off brand. My fans would hate me for it. But throwing up is a normal body fluid? Even a succubi. Don't your fans know that? Next, you'll tell me that you expect you to never pass gas or use the bathroom or enough a you yanks on 
Hazel's ponytail so hard she squeals. Why are you talking about my bodily functions? It's way too early for that. So, uh, you be alright chatting about it in the afternoon? Of course not! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I wasn't ready for that last part. <laughs> AU's face burns red and her cheeks puff out like a particular of front hamsters. As if I tell you what I do in the bathroom, I'd rather die. First, no, I'd rather you die. Please don't tell me you're into that kind of thing. What thing are you talking about? I have no idea. You know, I'm talking about the dirty stuff and... Um, well... <laughs> That's pretty dirty. I, I knew you was gonna say something like that, Cosmos, really. What? No! Are you glowers at Cosmos, with, who only enters the kitchen, still glimmery eyed What even is that? It's a type of bacteria commonly found in your mouth and the butt. Oh my! Fumi looks only mild be mused, but AU's face is even hotter than the furnace. I bet you could cook <laughs> Korean barbecue <laughs> on her cheeks. God damn it. You're a bastard for that. How do you know about that? I was looking up cosplay ideas the other day, and you decided you were going to cosplay a sexy bacterium? Why not? It would be interesting. Other girls cosplay sexy boats or sexy king. That is true, I guess. But why bacterium? I like bacteria. They're cute. Like hell they are. They're you weirdo. You snorts and takes a seat at the table. Are you gonna plate up the food, Hafumin? I like to eat sometime during the century, but don't give me too much rice. I need to watch my figure. If you worry about your weight, you can always go jogging with me and try to keep pace with you. No thanks. You're built like an Amazon, and I'm meant to be cute, delicate idol. Besides, you're too annoying to spend more than five minutes with. Am I annoying? You're very annoying. If you are worried about your weight and you don't want to exercise, you could swallow a tapeworm instead. They absorb nutrients from the gut, so you could eat a lot of it, but keep slender. They are useful. They're cute too. What is with you in finding weird things cute? You must have worms in your brain. Who has worms? Marina in, oh Jesus Christ. Marina is the last to enter the living room. She's wearing her white sundress and her hair looks neat and silky. She casts an eye around the room, taking us and then resting her gaze upon AU. Grinning, as she says, Do you have worms, AU? No! No! I do not have worms! Alright, everyone settle down. AU's right. We should, shouldn't discuss such matters now. You can resume your conversations about worms later. It, it does seem very interesting, but for the present, I would appreciate if we could eat breakfast. The Fumi plates up the food and then brings it to the table, and we soon begin to eat. Hmm, so good. Cosmo shoved rice in her mouth with the chopsticks, her face flushed with pleasure. It's delicious, I'm in heaven. You could try to eat a bit more cleanly. You get food stuck on your cheek. Let me... And you picks up her napkin and then reaches across the table to clean Cosmo's face. Cosmos doesn't squirm away from his attention. She sits patiently, her chopsticks aloft as a you wipes and occasionally tucks. There, much better. You look almost presentable. Were it not your questionable fashion choices. I still don't understand the appeal of those ears. They make you look infantile. But your stage costume is way frailer and more childish than anything I wear, AU. No, it isn't. My stage clothes exist to accelerate my beauty. They're unparalleled. And now, this is the argument sounds pretty familiar. I heard it before at the train station where the pair of us were leaving the Roiki. These two always argue. But I think they must care for one another. If they didn't, AU wouldn't fuss 
over Cosmos as she does, and Cosmos wouldn't insist upon their being friends. It's a shame that AU's too prickly to admit that she might ever like anybody. <clears throat> While AU and Cosmos are bickering, Hifumi turns to me and posits a question. Would you care to go walk with me later? It's a beautiful day and I thought if I might like to see some more of the beach or maybe the cliffs. I think it would be nice to stretch the legs. And it would be nicer if you joined me, Hideki. Eh, if that's what you want, then sure. I don't mind tagging along. It'll be my pleasure. Wonderful. Fumi beans. We could bring a picnic too, if you like. We could bring a picnic too, if you like. You certainly seem to be enjoying my cooking, and I very much enjoy cooking for you. There's much leftover rice from the breakfast, and so I can make uh, rice balls. And maybe rolled egg omelets? That's all pretty classic picnic fare. Yeah. It's the sort of stuff my mom used to put in my lunchbox at school. I feel kind of nostalgic. Can you do ginger chicken and hamburger steak? I can make almost anything. The fridge is stocked full of ingredients, and it would be a shame to waste them. Tell me your requests. If you have them, I shall turn them into reality. That's so cool. You sound like... Jesus Christ. That's so cool. You sound like almost a mage. <laughs> I am a succubus. I do know one or two spells. But when it comes to cooking, I prefer to use my own two hands. No cheating. The only magic I need is my love for you. That is adorable. Ah, spoken a true housewife. Your devotion is so bright and glittery. My eyes are starting to tear up. I love a cute wife food to cook for me, too. I'm tempted to invite myself along in your little picnic, but I had to eat a key to myself a bunch the other day. I wouldn't want to cramp your style, and I still want to get some of my jogging done. Would you mind saving me some of the your ginger chicken, though? Of course, I wouldn't mind. I can make extra chicken if you want some. It would be my pleasure. Nothing makes me happier than feeding others. <laughs> All right. Fumi punches her fist in the air in celebration while AU pretends to gag. You act way too nice, Fumi. You're giving me a sugar overdose over here. Oh dear. I did not think the miso soup was particularly sweet, but perhaps I made a mistake? I think your food is delicious, Hifumi. Pay AU no heed. She's just jealous because you can ply Hideki with food and she cannot. I've heard rumors about her culinary skills and her lack of, and it's truly tragic. She even burned cereal. Really? Is that true? But that's only one time. It was just a mistake. That's one hell of a mistake. How did you even do that? I don't know. It's not my fault. It's my maid for taking a day off of work. I don't cook or clean because she does all of it for me. I'm too famous for fussing about making my own food. Hm. Turns her nose up in the air, arms crossed, while Marina How hopeless you are, dear you. I am very busy myself, but even I know the basics. You really have nothing to offer. Save your foul temper. Now I think I will join Hifumi and Hideki on their walk. I have no desire to stay here and babysit you squabbling children. Is that alright, Hifumi? I do not mind at all, but what about you, Hideki? Yuma, do you have any objections? Do you have any objections? There we go. Fuck me. I, like, my brain literally turned off at the last second. For fuck's sake. Of course not. I like to spend time with all of you. But of course you do. I am irresistible after all. Girl, you cannot be any wrong there. <laughs> so is my food. Perhaps I will make some cute apple bunnies too. Uh, maybe some cookies? I would love to feed them to you. You to eat, perhaps, while you lay down on my lap? Nothing would make me happier than that. <laughs> These girls are going to play around way too damn much. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button if you want to new to the channel. It has been said, guys. Later.